What is going on everyone? Trust the buzz here if you're new to the channel. I made Charlotte Hornets content so if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video we're going to be talking about where is Mark Williams? This will be a short video. He's home. He's on the bench. Um, essentially, I mean today they said that Lamella balls out for the season but did not say anything about Mark Williams. However, Steve Clifford did say that uh, similar to how Lamella Ball's ankle has not been responsive, and I did just record a video talking about kind of what that means. So if you want to, you know how I do. I don't know what video is going to come out when, but more than likely that video is going to come out first. Check out my thoughts on that. I'll put the little thing up here. But essentially, I was saying that we don't really know what responsive means, but that's kind of the same sentiment that Steve Clifford kind of said with Mark Williams is that his back is just not as responsive as they would like it to be at this point. Now, there's a lot of things that actually now that I'm thinking of, I didn't even say in that last video about LaMelo, with Steve Clifford being out, some of this could be him airing out dirty laundry. Some of it could be the team telling him, hey, look, you know, you're already on your way out. Let's kind of cut the the media and try to stop trying to give them so much because one, you're not going to be here. Uh, two, it just really doesn't concern them. I don't know. Um, I will say this. We have not seen Mark work out the same way we've seen LaMelo. We've seen LaMelo do a lot of stuff. We've seen him shoot half-court shots at practice. We've seen him be active in practice. We've seen him be active before games. That doesn't mean he's game ready. That doesn't mean he's game fit. I'm just saying that we haven't seen Mark do those things at all. I will say also seven – Seven footers back issues is something that you just have to be really careful. I don't think as incompetent as I think our our medical team has been over the last couple of years. Um, I I would want to say they're playing this one right. I, I wish I could really tell you the truth, but I, I would want to say they're playing it right. Yes, it's frustrating because you know, of course, we don't still. I mean. Nick Richards is our backup center, and then after that, there's nothing. Um, I mean, we've been running Grant as a small ball five, and he, I think he's been doing a really good job. He did some pretty excellent box outs of Jared Allen last night against the Cavs. But, you know, we know that that can't always be the answer. Um, so it, we do need Mark Williams back. However, we don't know where he is. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't have any updates. Outside of now, we're hearing late in the season where it's hard to really believe anything uh, that his back is not responsive. Now, actions will – help this there are a couple of bigs in this draft that the Hornets could pick up uh, you got Donovan Klingon you got um Alexander Saar who I think I wouldn't be if the Hornets are able to get Alexander Saar and they draft him I wouldn't take that as oh this is the mark replacement because Alexander Saar is more of like a this this sounds bad but just to get my point across he's more of a PJ Washington than he is like a Mark Williams if that makes any sense um not skill set or anything like that it's just kind of where he fits more like a PJ Washington John Collins than like I said more of than an actual true center um so maybe some action will show that kind of where the Hornets feel about Mark Williams is in, in, in his injury. I feel as though if they continue to run it back I think that despite what they say if they continue to run um, just kind of how how our center rotation is. That'll tell you everything, and then they make a big change, and that'll kind of tell you how everything is. This, like I said, once again, despite what they say, uh, but, but it's just hard to know. It's hard to know. You always, always, always want to be careful with seven footers and their back injuries. Um, but it is unfortunate because this is not to say Mark Williams is not doing any type of workouts behind the scenes. I feel like on multiple occasions they've mentioned that he's doing workouts as far as just like workouts that me and you could do as far as weights um, and then maybe a little bit of basketball activity, but I can't quite pinpoint that and be 100% accurate. Um, but I, I, this one, we just have to be patient. It's unfortunate, but I really can't give as much, you know, strong, strong opinions on the Mark Williams situation as I'm able to do the Melo Ball situation only because back injuries, it affects everybody completely different. Um, and while with the Lamella, we have seen some holes in the reporting of his injury, the Mark Williams thing has been pretty solid as far as his back hurts and it's just not easy for him to recover because of his size. And I feel like everything has has kind of followed that to a T with Lamello. Uh, you know, you, you do think about, okay, well, the season's almost over. What's the point of bringing him back? He's the franchise. He's, just, he's about to get paid. You know, all, all these things kind of come into play when it comes to the LaMelo situation. But with Mark Williams, I mean, he's this is a, he's going into his third year next year, uh, and he just has not been able to play his second season. And I personally just feel as though 
you know what LaMelo Ball is. You're still trying to figure out what Mark Williams is. So there, there's less incentive to not play him if he is healthy than it is for LaMelo. Now, granted, I do know uh, we can probably – assume at most uh even let's say this is a lingering back injury and endeavor works out for mark williams as far as him reaching that like true defensive anchor uh that we were hoping he would be i think at minimum we can say he's a 10 10 guy maybe a block here and there block and a half um and a couple of maybe a steal steal and a half i don't know i mean that's also could be all the hornet's knee but I wouldn't be mad at that, uh, but I do feel like he can be a lot more and it'll be more something you see on the more uh, advanced statistics side than you would see the you know regular stats or raw stats. And then also probably on the eye test. We'll see. But I feel as, as much as I don't want to give – I'm not really necessarily giving credit, but as much as I don't want to give the Hornets medical team and, and PR and all this a pass, Mark Williams' situation is probably – it's accurate. It probably is accurate. It probably is – Hey, his back is hurting, and we don't want to keep, you know, kind of forcing him out there. But let me know what you think. I can't see everything, especially with the way my life has been going lately. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm really, really close to having a baby. Uh, my wife's having a baby, so we've just been focusing on that. So I'm not able to catch up on all the news as soon as it comes out and not able to, like, just go through Twitter and see all the reports from every reporter. So if you have more information, please let people know down in the comments section below. I'm just telling you based on what I know and kind of give my opinions. I feel as though all the reporting on that end has been fairly accurate just because it's been kind of the same. So either they're very tight-lipped or – it is that's just the truth and you can't change the truth i don't know but i hope mark williams is healthy um the, the what gives me hope is that he did come back for a brief bit and then kind of you know went back into 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 purgatory but him coming back even though he did feel discomfort this game that game i do remember that that is a sign that it may not be as bad as it kind of intended it's just more so team is losing um, yes, we don't quite know what Mark Williams is. However, it's just not worth retweaking that back. So maybe he is doing some good workouts in, in behind closed doors. And things are a little different because LaMelo literally is a – if he played a little more, he truly would be a star of the league. So it, it, the reporting on those players can be different. I don't know. People are just now finding out how good Mark Williams is, even though he hasn't played that many games. But at the beginning of the season, people were just now outside of Hornets fan and were really seeing the value of Mark Williams. So – Maybe it's just the reporting is different. I don't know. But I feel like everything is pretty accurate. Um, I wish I had more, but that's kind of just where it seems. I think the moves this offseason is going to tell us everything we need to know. But once again, if you see anything, uh, even if, you know, 10 days later you get more reports or more ideas or whatever from seeing information about Mark Williams, come back to this video and leave it down in the comment section below uh, just so we can kind of maybe keep a running thread going of giving updates. But other than that, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.